and he's the governor who reopened Indiana at lightning speed while other states, including Kentucky, were going slow in the early days of the COVID outbreak. Now, Republican incumbent Eric Holcomb is on the ballot facing two challengers. The night team's Heather Fountaine asked him today about his COVID response as the campaign moved into Jeffersonville. Our employers are figuring out um, how to conduct their businesses in a safe way, and that's a that's allowed us to bounce back. Indiana Governor Eric Holcomb defends his leadership during this pandemic as 3,000 more Hoosiers test positive for coronavirus Monday. We're proving that we can manage our way through this right now. Uh, we're proving that we can not only manage our way through, but grow through our, our way through this. And that's just not happening in other places. The governor stopped in Jeffersonville on the eve of Election Day, encouraging people to vote and praising the state's progress, even in a pandemic. In terms of new job commitments, already we brought in this year 27,000. A lot of that mayor, more, uh, a lot of that actions coming down your way. Jeffersonville Mayor Mike Moore found out the governor was visiting his city on Sunday. And letting us know, you know, we count. More than a million Hoosiers have already voted in this election. Mayor Moore says he's ready to move forward. I just hope that, you know, a week from now, we've got this resolved and people start coming back together. Holcomb is running against former state health commissioner, Democrat Dr. Woody Myers and Navy veteran and former teacher, Libertarian Donald Rainwater. He says he's confident county clerks will keep polling places safe and secure and anticipates results by midnight. The county uh, leadership has the resources they need to be able to accurately count every valid eligible ballot that has been submitted. Thousands here in Clark County have already voted early. Mayor Moore says he'll head to the polls tomorrow to vote on Election Day. Reporting from Jeffersonville, I'm Heather Fountaine for the night team. Now the other candidates in the race for Indiana governor, the Democrat Woody Myers and Libertarian Donald Rainwater shared their thoughts on the pandemic during the first gubernatorial debate held earlier this month. The reality is that there is no one size fits all solution to anything. And there is no, um, if you do this, you will be protected because this is a virus and you can only do what is easiest and best for you. We do need a real mask mandate in Indiana, a mask mandate with consequences for the small percentage of Hoosiers who choose not to protect themselves or protect others. It's very similar to what we did years ago when we told people that you couldn't light up a cigarette anywhere you wanted to light it up. You had to go into an area where it wasn't going to hurt other people.